Hello everyone, welcome back to Bastion. Last time we did the first level and we unlocked the Bastion and we gotta continue on and rebuild it, it looks like. So let's go on into the next level. Is there an armory around here somewhere? Cause I kinda wanna Bastion switch. Gotta build itself. Well, not entirely. I know, <laughs> not entirely. <laughs> I need an armory cause I wanna change a uh, weapon. Also, this sound still sounds really, really loud in my ears. There we go. That's better. Hopefully it sounds well in the recording. If it's too quiet, I'll change it again in episode three. Kid ponders what to build. Oh. It's a uh, for spirits arsenal. It's just what I wanted. <laughs> Mirror shield available. Bastion's What's that? A piece, but we can hold our own if we have to. So I kind of want to um, change this back to here, just because this would have been use more useful in the latter part of last episode when I we had all those small slimes. What was available? Mirror shield. Mirror shield. A secret technique that automatically counterblocks all oncoming attacks for a short time. Made famous in a spectacular showing in the Bullhead Court. And I read that and I did not pay attention. Automatically counterblocks. Okay, it's a skill that blocks attacks. I think I'll stick with Whirlwind for now. A repeater goes with a hammer better than a box of nails. <laughs> Uh, I'm not standing on anything. <laughs> Alright, where's level two? So I build the one thing. Ain't always much to say. Is there another level somewhere? I thought you that would be the level. Out there waiting for him. Oh here we go. Skyway. The skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind the distant lands. Uh Breaker Barracks Proving Ground. Breakers once honed their skill when focused with their bows. I don't have a bow equipped. All right, so this looks like a mini game. This looks like level two. This looks like we can go back to level one. And then there's something that is. Oh, no, this is level one. There's two levels here. Core detected. I need to bring it back and maybe useful supplies here as well. What's here? Bastion. OK. All right, let's start here. Level two. Drink spirits of the distiller to gain passive bonuses. Right. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Oh, wow. That's nice writing. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? Oh, you get XP when you're full on those. Nice. He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. I was gonna say something. What was it? I don't remember. Oh well, probably wasn't important. All right, this is why I took this for you guys. Yeah. Not so many. Get them all. They're not being thrown, right? What's this? New weapon? Come back and digest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Ha. Huh. Nice. These guys just keep coming? I think they might be infinitely spawning. I like this one. A big one! 50! Whack you up. Yep. I don't like how the things have to fully spawn in before you can attack them. I, I, I don't know if I don't like them, it's just I guess I, I'm not used to it. I guess that's what I should say. This thing looks like you're going to slash it. I guess not. What do we got? Squirtler. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. So I guess we press it and then they go there Looks instead of at us. Here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Yeah, we gotta go down all the false paths to get all the stuff. Huh? 
Them squirts just don't know when to quit. The big one. Ah. And I need my old hammer back because this one is not doing it. Uh, this button. All right, refill. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag. Scumbag alley. Some scumbag still feeding <laughs> off the city's own trash. It's just fall off the edge, and I get XP for it. And there he is, the oldest scumbag of them all, Gershel. Alright, attack the, the, the small one. Calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. Alright, I'm good for now. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Friends, I got a new ability, that's right. Alright, thank you for reminding me to heal. They always said old Gershel wouldn't go without a fight. That enemy had a name. Come on. Wait, is this my ally? Let's give me heart balloons. I think it's my ally. Because I did that. With the squirt lure. The rest of the path is gone for good. And his city crest won't bring it back. Alright, so we just came here and did in a scumbag. I guess there's nothing else to do here. I don't want these abilities. No, no surprise. Likely gas fellas are hiding it from him. Just uh, collected that shell. Come on, you. Where do I go this time? This way? Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live. Tended oh. to his flock. I wonder if it's automatically that you have to go all four directions. Oh, whoa. Alright, I can get these guys before they strike me once. I wonder if you have to go everywhere. Or if the core is automatically, or it, it is set on one of these paths. We got an item. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. <laughs> nice. Kids wondering the same thing. Distillery plans for a facility whose all right plans right we use that ragged hood a memento a soiled garment like the gas fellas wear gas fellas used to den the mines but now are storm of the remains of Salandia in alarming numbers but for what so why are all these people our enemies do they just belong to the enemy nation or whatever. Or are they like spirits that are just hostile and attack there it is, regardless? But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Well, that answers my question. I'll have to come back and uh, I'll have to go all the directions. Whoa! Check. Recover! Like I thought I pressed the button. Yeah! That's a bad place to be. Oh. This is weird. Got one. I need to get ya. I don't know how to dodge this. Heal up. Yeah. And that guy, I guess I just don't, don't be in the radius. It's just it's not easy. There we go. Huh. Here's how you kill this guy. Stay away from him and shoot him. This was not the best weapon for this area. Man, I don't have a good weapon combo. Oh hey, you guys are my friends. I guess because I killed the big guy. Is this going to be the end of the level? 
the whole place grown, but it's too tough to fall. No, I guess not. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. There we go. Answer my question. Ah, we go. There's the exit, but we haven't been this way yet. Wait, what's this? Is this an item lying on the ground? I wonder if it was there for a long time and I just missed it the first time. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. All right. Can I, de I think I can defeat the boxes before they hatch. What's the word? <laughs> Before they open. Oh no, I gotta go back and refill my fuels. That's right, you can heal here. Ha. Ah. Good to remember that. Squirch. Is there a path here? Nope. Just 10 XP. Borg! Inside the forge. He can fine tune those instruments of his. I can upgrade stuff. Let's upgrade these two. I have to pay money. All right, that's locked. His lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. All right, sledgehead, a harder, heavier hammerhead that delivers greater force on impact. There we go. What about this one? 175. A light but durable bowstring designed for faster firing. With a good length of Mies gut, that bow is like new again. Mies gut. I probably can't afford the. Oh, I can. Let's do it. Little Zolwood oil and that blade shines like a light. Alright, we've upgraded our gear. Now it is time to. I guess that's the. That's everything. He's ready so what to about go. this way? Nope. His ticket out right where he started. There's a person here. Is that Tim from Braid? <laughs> Did this game come out before or after Braid? I don't know. This is an old game. So is that. I can defeat you. I wonder if there's a reload button. Or if you just have to run out. I think I'm done. All right, that was level two. Build the forge in the bastion to upgrade weapons. Like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. Yeah, this kid's always coming back. You know he's strong. Look at this kid. He's so buff. He's, he's all upper body. Man, just because he's been swinging that hammer all his life. He's got no legs. Look at this guy's legs! Skinny little legs, skinny little hips, and gigantic arms! The windbags used to be alright, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. I got a happy squirt. Ah! Had to squirt. <laughs> Alright, let's put the core in the monument. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Alright, I think I only have one thing though. Let's change over to the hammer. And this one, I think this weapon's alright. No, let's switch over to the breaker's bow, because we saw that minigame. Ain't much kid can't handle with hammer and bow in hand. Ah, oh, there's special dialogue with these two. I wonder if there are for every weapon combination. What do we build? Forge distillery. I think I'm fine with my distillery. I did realize at, while editing that I can only use the one I have equipped when I have full health. But honestly, I'm okay with that. It's, I guess it's, I'm not at full health all the time, but you know. Forge. Um, do we have to build something right now? I guess we probably do. So distillery, forge, forge is good. We could build a forge next time though too. Like we don't have an oh right, we don't have anything to upgrade now, so let's save the forge for next time when we have more materials. Uh, you ever have a moment where you just can't say a word and you just have to say it better? 
Makes time the sample spirits. Oh hey, I got another of these. Supply. Nice. Oh, a bunch more. Party punch. Plus one chance to carry on if defeated. Oh, that's important. It's like the Kingdom Hearts thing. I forget what it's called, but you get attacked if you have more than one health, and then you have one health instead of death. Damage surrounding foes if defeated. I guess that means that when you spawn in again, the enemies have less health. Like, I haven't died yet, have I? I haven't died, so I don't... I assume that this means that if you die, the enemies don't regain their health. And if you have this on, then it means that they lose health. Aromatic beverage served piping hot. According to folk tales, it can almost wake the dead. Wear whiskey. A hundred percent critical hit chance, but only active when below 33% health. Well, I don't plan on spending much time below 33% health, so... These two together seem like they might work. They might be good for risky players. Not me, not yet. It's scentless, you have very brisk beverage of boiled rattletail whisker. Used to revive patients in triage centers. Cinderbrick Scout. Stout. 33% speed while defending. I haven't defended much, so. Spicy, nutty flavors and a dry aftertaste. Very heavy and filling. All right, I think I'm gonna go with th this one. All right, and I think I'm still okay with this one, even though it's only active when at full health. Party punch is so zesty. It'll let you carry on through the worst of times. All right. Well, let's go back to the Skyway. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. All right, we have two more levels open, but let's do this first. The Info. breakout barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. All right. The workman ward. Them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. I like how we're just skydiving everywhere. <laughs> we just have the ability to do that. The bastion. Ceylandia's safe haven. Once the highest point in the city. Too bad it wasn't finished before the Calamity struck. So the Calamity, what I think is the beginning of the game, and the kid woke up and he's like, I gotta get to the Bastion. And so that was the that was the first level. The Wharf District. Folks sailed deep into the boundless sea from here. Hmm. So let's go here and try this one. I might need a higher bow level, but we'll at least try it out. The breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. Hmm. I've already got it equipped. He's focused. He's armed. Let's go. And he's off. Whoa. That was two. Shot just happens in a flash. I didn't realize you could get more than one at once. I'm gonna have to upgrade this and then shoot through them all with this with a single shot. This music's so cool. Three. Three. Oh, there's one more. We got one prize. All right. We got a mace gut. Ten shots or fewer. I got fi 13. That's because I started and I didn't really know what I was doing. Restart. Kid ain't had enough of the breaker's barracks. Let's see if I can do something faster. I can get four at once here, I see. Can I get through here? Should get four at once, just like this. Bam! Nope. Only three. Takes practice, and a mighty strong bow helps too. Oh well. Uh, actually, I did get him. That was just a crit. Switch targets. That's okay. I don't need to switch targets. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I can get ten.
I'll have to think of paths that might do better than 10. Well, I have to upgrade it so that I can kill him in one hit. Nine. Ten. All right. That is a right solid performance. And there ain't no way I'm getting this one. <laughs> Not yet. Something fancy. And let's check out what we got. Something stringy. Something fancy. And forge. Plans for a facility that transmutes scavenged materials into weapon upgrades. Just need a place to build it. The old forge from the Workman Ward was a model for many others found in Ceylandia. Already talked about this one. An upgrade material for a certain weapon. A clockwork organizer once used for work and recreation. These springs and sprockets could be put to better use. <laughs> we got a watch. We don't need the watch anymore. Can I break this? No. Okay. Skyway! Parker saved automatically when returning to the Bastion. He returns with some of the materials we need. But no money. I have no money. I'm out. I can't do it. Can I talk to you about anything new? You don't have an exclamation mark. Sometimes a single look says it all. So this has been a pretty short play session. I usually target over 30 minutes for an episode. Those have both been pretty short levels and then a really short minigame. So I figure why not go on to another level in the world in the same episode. The melting pot. Place hoarded all sorts of fineries from beyond the boundless sea. Let's do it. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. <laughs> okay, they're dead. Trusty hammer! The squirt skin. Of all the plans to survive the calamity. It had tight. to be stab weeds. Do I get hit if I hurt if I touch this? Yes. Last of things hurt like a broken heart. Ooh. Writing gets really good sometimes. Just trying to hit it's not doing it. Power shot. I hit something it was not a not a plant. There we go. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Well, I'm just looking around. Whoa! <laughs> and I landed on the spikes. So there's one line that I remember from the first time I played this game. I didn't get it because it didn't fall off in the first level. But if you fall off right after you begin the game, the narrator goes, Then he fell to his death. And then you flop down on the ground and he's like, Just kidding. I kind of wish I had gotten that dialogue, because it's funny! Also, I kind of wish that my hammer would hit this thing. <laughs> Something nasty? Whoa, you're big! And also, I got hit a couple of times from that. Oh well. I am full again now. Oh, I thought this arch was on the stairs and I'd have to break it. I bet the machete gets the plants Core's better. Stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Let's get rid of these things. There's probably going to be a battle here, if I have to guess. Trip mine? Oh, that's an item, isn't it? Probably an ability. Some of the yeah. stuff lying around is downright dangerous. Will I get hit if I run next to it? Switch. I'm not ready, I gotta break stuff first. Alright, found a bunch of money, broke a bunch of stuff. This thing is here. Let's begin the battle. Now what could possibly go wrong? 
Enemies. Quite a bit, as it turns and Also out, money. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. Why is there so much All money? He can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. This is a good weapon. Not every score is born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. That's nice. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. So you can bust the boxes before the enemies come out. That's nice. I'm just gonna go for boxes right now. Seems to be my best bet. Also, these enemies don't seem to be so bad. Lots of money. Huh. Nice. Thank you. Friendly guys. What next, boss? At this rate, maybe five more minutes. Maybe thirty. <laughs> Get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. Haha. <laughs> well, this is nice. Maybe leave some of this stuff up. Oh. One thing's for sure that cage is awful heavy. There's apples. Ow! I'm being burned. This doesn't seem too bad. Just check some mines. It's a troublesome scene to be sure. Yep. Heal up. I got a thing. Yeah. Dancing enemies. Core goes free. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Give or take a few seconds. <laughs> Give or take a few. <laughs> Finally. Core's within reach. And done. Alright, the core's ready. I can grab it whenever. Yes, got I got the core. It. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. Alright. I want the XP though. And the heals. Stuff's just falling. Enemies down here. Alright. Also, there's fireballs falling from the sky. I just realized that. Keep ourselves healed up. We got all the stuff. Could have left a little bit earlier. <laughs> that was a abrupt takeoff. All right, and a nice short little level to cap off the end of the video. I still remember the look on his face after that one. All right, so it does not autosave after we do stuff here, so anything I do here at the end of this episode, I have to do again before recording next time. But it does seem like a nice way to cap off the episode, so I'll talk to this guy. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. And uh, you know what? We'll put the monument in next time. We'll just have that be our routine is that at the end, we'll talk to the guy, and then we'll do all the stuff next time. Thank you very much for watching! Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Bastion and other awesome games. I'll see you next time! Bye!